Hello everybody, here I am again for the next swing talk. Today I want to talk about letting go and how you can let go. And specifically for me this is today a very special day to practice this letting go. And Because my son just left for New Zealand and I have no clue when I will see him again. And I'm very happy for him. But when this flight took off, it was like my my heart of being a mother was like torn away. And at one point in time, I just had to let go. And how do you do this? How can you let go? Because you might not want to, or perhaps somebody just left you and you did not want him to leave you, or something fell apart and you just wanted to hold onto it and suffering as we all know comes from holding on to things holding on to situations holding on to people holding on also inside of us to our suffering to our ways of thinking and the suffering comes from holding on but how is it possible to let go even for example to let go of somebody you love and what I realized again today, because as I say, letting go is a practice of trust and of love and of being connected to the light. Because when you do, and you are in the present moment, and you know that everything is fine 100% all the time, there is no suffering. Yesterday I have been talking with a friend of mine and her husband just died like or transitioned fast um, away like I think uh, one month ago and she's a very beautiful person and a very inside connected person and she said that she's profoundly sad but also she knows it is fine she knows it is okay and there was very 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 beautiful beautiful story which I can tell another time about him transitioning um, so this letting go has to do with this and so what I want you to do is to ask yourself what where am I suffering what am I holding on to because if I'm holding on there is a benefit of it why am I holding on so if you don't know why and you cannot figure it out I could help you with that but the most important thing is that you don't want to suffer you don't want to cry all day long you don't want to fight if you are connected to this energy of the sacred feminine it's like surfing on the waves of life surfing on the waves of your emotions and not holding on to just letting them be there being okay that there is sadness just coming through or whatever it is everything is fine and then to focus you are where your attention is focused on love on trust and on the light connecting inside and being just in the present moment knowing that life is happening for us not to us we are not a victim and knowing that if this is true for me it is true for everybody and then I can put my attention for example with my son in my joy that I know this is his dream and he's realizing his dream and even as a mother, if my heart as a mother is like feeling, ah, <laughs> I want to keep all my children just near me, that I can be where I decide to be. And my decision is be in the enthusiasm, this joy for him. And this is true in everything which I just said, inside, outside, you can practice this. So what I would like you to do is put in the comments or write me a message or take an appointment with me if you need help. Put in the comments, if you had had a look, where are you suffering? And if you can figure out what are you holding on to? And then 
just look at this what you're holding on to with love with trust and knowing that you can let it go if you are in the present moment that everything is okay 100% of the time always so the last thing I want to say is that there are so many practices you can do for practicing this letting go because if it is just mental it might be very difficult you can like having mantras uh, reciting mantras you can have like crystals yesterday I bought a crystal for him and what came was a crystal cutting cutting and letting go <laughs> made me cry actually because I really could feel that this is what he needs to do so he can just be free and fly but how how magic is this so crystals can help and dancing can help we can cut and let go so you might be in a situation where you need to, to first cut and let go and this cutting can be done just with a with a gesture like this and you say I cut I cut do it with love do it in the light do it with knowing and trusting and cutting and cutting and then just let it go let it be go on a higher level where you can see like how will this be what will I think for myself in 10 years when I'm 10 years older how will I look at the situation today and this for sure will help you so I hope this was interesting for you. If you want to dance it out, come to my dance classes in Brussels or in Grégoiseau now or online. We do dance these kind of things and it is a lot of fun. Sometimes there are tears, there are releasing of trauma, but it is fun and it is very, very, very effective. It's a shortcut to everything you can learn on a mental level if you dance it you have it with joy you have it with energy and it is no longer part of your physical manifestation and this of course is what we want so thank you for listening and i'm looking forward to reading your comments ciao ciao